so yeah there's a hardcore delay so <clears throat> if it takes me a bit to respond to your questions or whatnot i mean you know why <laughs> the delay is ridiculous so we'll start in 10 minutes i just wanted to make sure all this worked yeah bounty zero x went crazy i mean obviously it went down a little bit I mean, it was only 1.75 million market cap, and I mean, it was up, <laughs> hit 106 million. That's ridiculous. I mean, this is why I'm doing the ICO sheet so that we can find out these type of these type of coins. Uh, I'm a software developer at Accenture, so I've been doing that for about three years, and I actually really enjoy it. It's a super laid back job um, i have most of my friends work there and it's just really fun i i really do enjoy working there hold on i'm gonna turn the fan on man this delay though jesus why is it so hard is it normal to delay this long Yeah, so name your channel. That's going to be kind of the main thing. We're going to talk about ICOs and the ICO sheet. Um, DE, where did Wanchain say that? Do you have a link? And what's up, Crypto Insomniac? Hey, I think I might know you in a, bit, in a way. <laughs> if you're the person I think you are. Let me check. Uh, my daughter is one. She just turned one November 30th. And then I have a son that is four, actually. So I have two. So yeah, maybe I started a little early. But I just wanted to make sure everything worked. I was planning on just checking it and then turning it off. But people came, so we can just chat while we wait. Polymath. I don't really know too much about polymath, actually. I actually know nothing about it. I have not looked at it. I do want to see where you guys heard about WAN chain waiting till market cap hits 750 million. Or are you just saying that just to say it? So there are so many ICOs out there, so it will be very helpful if, if you guys spot one that you think is good or other YouTubers might be talking about it to let me know because there are so many. It's ridiculous. So Nucleus Vision, I don't know. I mean, I did that video on Nucleus Vision when Ian Bellina was kind of talking about it. I was super disappointed, but I'm not really surprised with Ethereum going crazy, then dropping, etc. I mean, I don't really care too much. I don't expect to jump into it. I was just trying to get into ICO. I don't like it that much. So, again, this is super delayed. So, you guys are typing. I can type back and it's fast, but my response on the video, at least from what I'm hearing, is like 20 seconds behind, which is ridiculous. Polyswarm. Yeah, so Cargo X, DE, I have a bunch of friends, and I have actually a group of about six people that I talk to every single day. These are some of the smartest people. Like I said, they're in my Facebook group and we talk about crypto and they are 
actually jumping into Cargo X since it's pretty much ICO price right now. So I like the ICO market cap, but other than that, I don't think it's the next WAN chain, of course. But still, seven million super cheap. So I, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with that one. Also, a side note, my computer, it's not the best one. It's actually my fiance's. Sometimes it freezes. I'm hoping it doesn't do that. It will kind of freeze for like five seconds and then keep going. I actually have to edit a lot of my videos because of that. Hopefully it doesn't do it this time. Also, Haroon, I agree 100%. When Ian or Superman talk about it, even if the ICO is not even good, he, they just have so many followers that the ICO pretty much does good. For example, I'm not a huge fan of BitDegree. I actually got banned in SCM because I didn't shill BitDegree. I got back in, but I'm not a huge fan of it. He loves it. I mean, he even made a Udemy course of it. And the people in his group are super excited about it. I just don't really see the need for blockchain in that line of of work, I guess, or project. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of it either way. So we got four minutes. Yeah, so Car Vertical, I don't know too much about, to be honest. I know that they're in the SCM group. They're also super in love with Car Vertical. I didn't get into ICO, so... I only have limited funds. Um, obviously, I cover a lot of coins that I'm not in. Car Vertical is one of those I haven't covered and I'm not in. So, Man, I wish this would keep up. Wait, can I post this? Maybe I should post this in other groups. Where do I get the link? I don't even know. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, oh. Um, see, is it freezing? Oh, I froze it. Oh. Wow. Dang. I'm not on my other computer, so I cannot post this on Facebook. Fail. Yeah, whatever. If any of you guys are in the big groups on Facebook, can you post this? I'm not on my normal computer, so I can't do that right now. Airhead, forgot. <laughs> yeah, so high performance blockchain. I have a few people that are super excited about that one. Um, I've looked a little bit into it. I have not jumped in. I think it's because of the market care. What the? I think it's because of where it's at. Yeah, so I haven't signed up for a buy box yet. Oh, it's on KuCoin. Hmm. Okay, this must have just happened. So, yeah, this one I do want to look into. It's not bad. Market cap. This one might not be bad for everybody to check out. I'll, if I get a chance, I'll look more in, into it and give you guys an idea what I think. But I've heard some really good things about it. Yeah, so Zillic. Zilliki, uh, I don't know how to say it, but that one's already super high on um, over ICO. So I'm not a huge fan of jumping into new projects that have already times 20. I'm not sure if it's still that high. But yeah, this one's still super up. I honestly don't know much about it. I just know it went crazy after ICO. Yeah, so next exchange, I'm excited about that one. We got one more minute. Hey, you guys don't hear any background noise, right? My fiance is with my daughter, but I can hear her all the way over here. So I don't know if that's allowed for you guys. Hopefully you can't hear that. Okay, good.
Stefanos, that's Stefanos that I know. <laughs> okay, it's almost 10 o'clock. Oh, yep, let's not do that. <laughs> it's gonna manage moderators, but I think we'll be okay. So, um, we're gonna start in a little bit. I'm gonna give people about another minute. I want you guys to know this one's not going to be a super long stream. I don't really want it to be an hour. I know Superman does that, and a lot of people do these super long streams. I'm not a huge fan of that. If you ever want to go back and watch, or if you missed it, wait, you can hear Ava? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully you can't hear it. I told her to told uh, Brittany to try to keep her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Eodu. I mean, I looked at that a long time ago. I do. I don't even know what they've been doing lately. I mean, the market cap's not bad. Um, man, that is so far behind. I just saw my live stream. Let me see what... Damn, it's like a minute behind. Jesus. Well, <laughs> that's not good. Okay. Um, so this is going to be kind of hard, it seems like, because it's so delayed. Uh, if you guys can check your time and check mine. It says 801. I'm sure you guys can hear this at like 802. Kind of ridiculous. Um, and I agree 100%. We want to keep this short. I'm going to kind of go over the market just real fast, a couple coins. Kind of like my market news. I'm not going to do any news though. We're going to go over my ICO sheet. Then you guys can bring up some ICOs. I actually want to center this around you guys giving me suggestions on what I should add, what I should take away, how you think I should score each ICO, and what is the best way to do that. So... Let's let's get started actually. So first, the market's actually not doing too bad. What's Bitcoin at? And I'm messing this up. I mean, Bitcoin, it's at 88. It was about to hit 9,000. This one, Bitcoin goes up, it goes back down. I know there's so much money just waiting for this to go crazy. And we all know this. Once Bitcoin jumps, I think the FOMO is going to really set in. This is where I want you to stay in your coins that you love. Or, let me rephrase that. I would be staying in the coins I love like Dragon Chain, Neblio, etc. Wait for that push. You can kind of try to sell or buy, sell. I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Way, way too complicated. Let me turn this down. It's way too complicated, way too stressful. I hate that. Jesus, such a long... Wait, oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> we'll try this out, see how it works. Um, oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> I'm not going to say smash the likes, but smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for all of you to subscribe. I know the market's been bad. <laughs> With the market being bad, my subscribers have really dipped. I would love all you guys to join. I am going in a new direction for now, at least with the ICO sheet. So... If you want to join i have my discord also my facebook i have a telegram it's not as active yet um, but i do plan on pushing that more trying to get more people in there to have fun chat and just help each other out so after that we have okay i thought dragon chain was doing good and it was when i looked at it earlier um it's gone down about 10 cents since i looked at it so i mean <laughs> I'm going to stick in that one. I actually don't mind Dragon Chain dropping because it's Dragon Chain. If it drops, I just plan on buying more. Okay, I can't look at the chat because it's so delayed that it's making it hard. Okay, so, yeah. Top gainers for today. Chainlink. Um, Nano. It's not too positive, honestly. Outside of that, we got Deep Brain Chain and Red Pulls doing good. So, I had a lot of Deep Brain Chain and sold it. I wasn't too big into this project, so I sold it to get into other ICOs. If you're in there, let me know. What do you think of Deep Brain Chain? Are you liking it? Also, we got Neblio and Substratum. They were doing a lot better. Like an hour ago, they were at like 
They're at 13. Still good. It's better than negative. Um, I don't plan on buying any more Neblio. I already have a good chunk. I actually don't have any substratum. I'm sure some of you do. I do think this is a good project. I think it's super ambitious and that could be hard for them. We'll see. There's also a few ICOs coming out that are going to compete for substratum, which I'm excited to put on our ICO sheet and talk about at a later time. So let's just get to the ICO sheet. This is what it's basically about, right? Let me see, make sure everything's going good. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I've actually expanded this a lot since the last time I talked about it. These are the completed ICOs and the ones that we finished. So we power, why do I have this yellow? So when I have it yellow, that means we don't have the complete score. So we might have a very limited score. So maybe the team, we haven't looked at the whole team. Um, we're just trying to get it out there and make sure you have the best idea. So WAN chain, of course, I put 100% here. This one, it, it deserves it. We all know that. And now I'm not just putting 100%. There's actually a whole entire formula. When I put the information in here, it will add up to a percent. And as you can see, I've tried to put the best ICOs. I should probably put some bad ones in there so we can get an idea. But we have um, 0x, Dragon Chain. Now, Dragon Chain was super under the radar. They only, I think they got under 15 million. But if you look at their metrics, they actually had a really good ICO setup that we probably could have made a lot. And as you can see by the price, we, we would have. Um, so let's look at this. We got the ICO price. This one. I'm not too big on the ICO price because it doesn't really matter. Of course, market cap is king. But when coins are a penny or under a penny, everybody, especially new people, just I don't know why. They love that penny. They see um, Bounty Zero X is a perfect example. That was uh, what we have here. 1.65 cents. And this one, I think it to 91 cents. Now, 91 cents doesn't seem that high for most coins. But when you're at one penny, that is is great gains super exciting for that so this one doesn't really weigh in too much for the score but i still track it and i still think it deserves to be in there and then we have the supply now we have a prototype this is a big one in my opinion we kind of want to see if they have the alpha or the beta or if they're live already so live will get a lot of points compared to alpha or beta which i kind of expect if an ico doesn't have an alpha or beta then what the heck are they doing next we have prototype prototype project type <laughs> this is just listing what it is it's a platform or a protocol the ecosystem currency exchange different things like that now impact this is basically how much of an impact can this project have on the space of course wan chain could have a huge impact zero x quant stamps should have a huge impact dragon chain not as much just because there's so many projects out there granted it could have a huge impact also just it would have been hard to see this from the ico stage after that, we have the competition ladder. So this one, I'm going to probably rename these like the, the numbers 2, 3, 1. It's kind of hard to understand where we're going at with that. So competition ladder is just kind of showing where it is it in terms of is it at the bottom? Is it pretty much average of the competition or is it at the top of the competition? So if Power Ledger were to come out right now or Quant Stamp, since it was so new, it got a, pretty much a top score. After that, we have quality partners. So we're looking here. If the project has some good partners, whether it's like unknown, which a lot of them do, unknown companies we've never heard of before, then there's other companies that we've heard of. So maybe Quant Stamps, their partner, or um, WanChain, something like that. And then there's the really top ones with their Google, Facebook, Amazon, which they're not going to come very often. But if they have that, that is huge. And we're going to give them a, a pretty good score because of that. Then the roadmap, this one we're just looking to see if they have something coming after the ICO. So... It's pretty big if a coin has something like a, a platform release or some big news right after the ICO because we know that could really drive the price. So this one, we're kind of gauging that to see what they have coming right after the ICO is completed. Now team, of course, this one's pretty self-explanatory. How good is their team? We're looking at the stars, the superstars, who they have here. And six is pretty high score, but we're looking at WAN chain the top coins out there that have the top teams. They deserve that because team is actually pretty important. In my opinion, team's important. Next, we have the advisors. So 
we're looking at how good their advisors are. Of course, again, this one's super self-explanatory. If they have the top advisors like Vitalik or other ones like big crypto people, they're gonna get a lot of points. If they just have unknown people that we never heard of before, they won't get as much. Then we're gonna list the KYC whitelist if the US is restricted. This is just information we'd love to know when we're, we're getting in the ICO. So now in Community Hype, we're looking at their Telegram. How many people do they have? Like Nucleus Vision, I think they had at 1.70 thousand people. They might have more. Then we're gonna look at Twitter followers. So I don't think Telegram is the only way to measure community hype. I think um, Twitter is also huge, especially in the crypto space. Twitter's actually used a lot. And um, you can actually tell, we actually show the tweets on there so we can kind of tell how engaged they are with the community on Twitter. I think this one's big. They don't really weigh heavily in the score, but it's still a good way to, to measure how the, the coin will do. So we add this all up. We have scores for each one, which one's more important, which one's not. And this is how we get the score. And I'm kind of measuring this off of completed because we know that if we would have jumped into these ICOs, we would have made a huge gain. Now I do want to add a few more spots. Number one, I want to add basically what the price is now. So with these completed ICOs, we'll do a WAN chain, let's say it's 36 cents. When it comes out, it's $10. We'll have somewhere on the side, probably at the end, that shows how much of a multiplier we have had. That way we can see with the ICOs we've jumped in, how far we've gone. Now, again, there's people like Ian Bellina, Oh Hey Maddie, the Goblin. I'm trying to do something similar to them because I think they have great ideas and they are doing a great job, but I want mine to be unique and as detailed as possible. That way you can come and get as much information as you can for the ICO that you, you want to invest in. Now, of course, as it says right here, the information here is based off of what the company displays only to us, the public. And also it might not always be up to date, so you gotta remember that. So make sure you research before investing. And it's basically used as a reference for myself and I'm not a financial advisor. So <laughs> you don't, don't take advice from me. I'm just giving you information that I gather and you guys can do what you want with it. So let's look at the upcoming ICOs. And I think a few of these have already finished, so as I've showed you all those, with this, we also have the dates. So we have the crowd sale dates and the pre-sale dates. I also do wanna add the if they have any bonuses. I think that's pretty big. I haven't added it yet. But if a um, project like Quantstamp was six cents, but they had a pre-sale, or not even pre-sale bonus, a normal ICO bonus based off of your huddle score of like two cents or three cents, which is actually really big if you think about it. And I think that's why Quantstamp had a little bit harder time jumping right after ICO, even though it was a great project. So after going through all that, this is the scores we're looking at. So CoinVest credits, which is on the 15th, I believe. Yeah, the 15th, got a 92% CoinVest, 93%. I really wanna jump in credits. This is one that, if it doesn't sell out too fast, this one might have a huge gas war. I want to get in this one. Also, Horrify, this one seems to be a pretty good one. Also, Current, I believe they do not have a ICO anymore. They sold in pre-sale. But this one could be big, something to wait for in exchange. This is one Mark Cuban's behind. They actually have a huge amount of Twitter followers, 661,000. That's actually double Ethereum's Twitter followers. That's a lot. <laughs> So I think Ethereum has about 300 and something thousand Twitter followers. So this is where I'm gonna kind of center my channel for now at least because I am really interested to see what the ICOs can do. We all know ICOs can be big. Look at Ian Bellina, he showed, I think he made like $4 million. That's ridiculous. Now this guy was throwing a huge amount of monies in ICOs. <clears throat> he was throwing a huge amount of money into ICOs. So still, we're gonna try our best to do the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much my ICO sheet. I am super open to any ideas that you guys think that will help this score better. Um, what do you think, and you guys can tell me this here, comments or in my Discord, Facebook, let me know what you think is the best or most important thing in this in this whole entire sheet. So hard cap, we know is super important. Um, 
if they have a prototype, that's super important. How big the impact is, what kind of project type is it? Is it a currency? Is it a blockchain? Is it a platform protocol? What do you think is the most important? I would love your opinions because I want us to work together here. I, I don't want it to just be my opinion. I want it to be all of ours. That way we can work together and find the best coins to jump in. Now, it would be the best if we could find these before pre-sell. That way we have a better chance to jump in. So that's again where we need to work together. So let's check out the chat. Okay, so. Uh, oh, that's another thing I wanna talk about. So Telegram, when we do get in these ICOs, be careful with the Telegrams because every single one seems to be just getting fudded and attacked over and over by the scammers and people are losing so much money and that's not okay. So what I would do if I were you, get the address or be ready to get the address when the ICO starts and then just close Telegram because people just spam and it's ridiculous. I don't see why people use Telegram. I think Discord's a way better idea because you can mute and you can have certain people talk. That way they can stop spammers and scammers, but I don't know, we'll see. I mean, Slack was, uh, Slack was the same way. Everybody was using Slack. Substratum is a perfect example. Then they were scamming that and they moved away from it. So right now it's Telegram. We'll see what happens in the future. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the sheet. So yeah, so this is important. Who is gonna get this sheet? So I will be talking about it in pretty much every video I do. My Discord, I'm going to be handing it out to my MVPs. These are the people that are most active in my community, in my Discord, helping, being friendly, and it's super easy to become an MVP. You just come in and be active. And it's they're the ones that are gonna get this. So I want my community to benefit from this the most, and that's how I'm gonna do it. So. So are they all still open? So here's the crowd sell dates that we're looking at right now. We have credits and Coinvest happening super soon. Looks like most of them don't have US being restricted. Um, Herify, I didn't think Herify started already. I'd have to double check on that one. Dether already finished. Um, looks like a lot of them are happening really soon. This one's not green for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Neo Exchange. I don't think they even have any. This one's kind of interesting. There's no KYC, no whitelist. This could be bad. Could be good. I don't know. That one's going to be huge. I'm excited for Neo Exchange. And again, send me all of them that you think. Now, Omnitude, I did this one because a lot of people are saying this is Superman's pick. Now, I think he discredited that but the score wasn't that good. Granted, it, I kept it yellow because it was a super fast. I went in, like quickly looked at the team, quickly looked at the partners, and they got a 64%. That's not very good. I wouldn't jump in off of that. I wasn't really impressed by the project and the idea either, so. Um, yeah, what are we looking at? Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna take questions now. Um, of course, it's really slow. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to get this as fast as we can. Let me see where we're at on the chat. Let me see. Okay. Let me know what you guys Yep, trying to type, it's not working. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now. So we're doing questions. Can't think, I'm hearing myself talk. Again, it's a pff, seems super delayed. I don't know if any of you know a better way to make this not delayed. At the moment, I do not. So maybe it's because of the stream optimization. I put it on normal latency. So yeah, any questions? If not, um, my Discord, I'm in there every single day. Joshua, which is um, Agua, 
De Vince. <laughs> Forgot his name. Hold on. <laughs> so Agua Divino Divinos. This guy is pretty much my right hand man in the ICO, the ICO sheet. If you have any questions and I'm not there, you can ask him and he'll help you. Super helpful, super nice. Also Stefanos, he's not really in Discord as much. He's on Facebook. He's also super helpful. What do you mean to get into blockchain? So Ocean Protocol, I actually don't know too much about, but I am going to be adding that and checking it because I've heard a lot of good things about Ocean Protocol. And um, I'm super excited about that one. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. We actually had it on earlier, but I, I, as you can see, there's a lot of them hidden right here um, just because there's not very much information yet and I didn't want to get people confused. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. If you have any questions, you can easily direct message me in Discord. Facebook group, that's a great place to not only talk to me, some of the smartest people I know. Um, Derek, I don't know his last name. <laughs> Derek's there. Stefanos is there. Um, th there's a lot of good people. And next time I have this live chat, I will actually tell you the names. <laughs> so that you can easily talk to them either way come to my discord ask me any questions this is super delayed so it's kind of hard for me to answer questions here yeah anyways thank you so much for coming if you did like this live stream you want me to do more i would love to do more i actually really like this i didn't have to go through and edit it was just us talking i do want to find a better way to stop the latency though if i can make it maybe five seconds that's that's bearable but one minute or two minutes way too much so if you have any suggestions on how to do that let me know if not i'll research it and find out again thank you so much guys smash that like button if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button and i'll see you next time i always stop this